a renowned, rigorous, and relentless species of virus known as Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2 has undeniably monopolized the world, donning its dictatorship from Wuhan, China. Arising out of a mere headache to suffering in your deathbed, COVID-19 is capable of inducing ailments that range from different elevations of severity. The airborne respiratory virus is spread through an infected host by coughing, sneezing, and even surfaces with an incubation period of 1-14 to 14 days. It enters the host through facial extremities and makes its way through the nasal passage, going down the bronchial tubes of the lungs via mucus, where it damages the alveoli, preventing the lungs from supplying oxygen to the bloodstream. Likewise, the virus can infiltrate the bloodstream and infect other parts of the bodies like the digestive system. The original COVID-19 is a beta coronavirus that has emerged from bad gene pools and has undergone several mutations that have produced two more variations, Type B which has adapted to East Asia and Type C which has dominated Europe. COVID-19 is an obligate intracellular parasite, defining that it's unable to reproduce or survive on its own since it lacks ribosomes to form essential proteins such as lipids or amino acids for metabolic processes and is unable to generate energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate, classifying it as a non-living organism. SARS-CoV-2 is systematized under the order of nidovirals and the family Coronaviridae owing to its crown-like appearance under the subfamily Orthocoronavirinae due to its positive sense RNA genome and belongs to the subgenus Sarbicovirus since the virus targets mammals, most notably humans. Coronavirus variants have a phospholipid bilayer called an envelope, which is studded with spike glycoproteins and hemagglutinin and esterase on its exterior that hitch onto the host cell. Variants contain nucleic acid, which in this case is a single strand of positive sense RNA. The RNA is encased by a nicosahedral capsid, which is encompassed by a viral matrix protein. In a sense, the RNA hijacks the control center of the host cell through receptor-mediated endocytosis to incorporate itself by translating into messenger RNA, replicating in the cytoplasm. Thereupon, the transformed cell divides. This occurs unceasingly as virions exit after cell lysis and piggyback the mRNA into more host cells in a lysogenic cycle. S glycoproteins carry antigenic epitopes. Antigens provoke a response from the immune system. Epitopes are what angiotensin converting enzymes to antibodies in human immune systems recognize. Epitopes are the specific area of the antigen that binds to the paratope of an ACE2. This is quite similar to inserting batteries in the designated compartment of a remote control to enable it. Scientists should discern the antibodies making their way to antigenic sites on the virus to further examine its pathogenicity and how the virus attacks cells. From this knowledge, they can develop a synthesized monoclonal antibody to deactivate the virus.